What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and welcome back to the Rotofoot Champions RTG Edition. Welcome back to our Squad Battle Reward Edition. Ladies and gentlemen, we were in an intense battle for number one in the world. I came up short by like 800 points, but I do believe we got number two in the world, which is pretty awesome. Last week, we got number five in the world. This week, we got number two. Maybe next week, we can hit up number one in the world, but for now, we have to take number two as a consolation. We were close, man. Pretty much the whole week, we stayed in first place. But the homie that, if you watched yesterday's video that I was in the battle with, he took number one. I got number two. Bros, if you think this is absolutely awesome and we got number two in the world offline, smash a big old thumbs up, man. Can we get 15,000 likes? That would be amazing. As of right now, in, in the weekend league, uh, because as I'm recording this, rewards just came out, which means the weekend league is still open for me. Do you guys watch this? It'll be closed when the video goes live. I still have a few more games to finish tonight, which I'm going to do in just a little bit. But these squad battle rewards might help me finish off the weekend league. So we're going to hope for some great things, man. We get awesome rewards out of this, okay? As you can see, number two in the world. It's pretty hard to do, man. It was pretty intense, but luckily we were able to pull it off. Right now, bros, where I'm at, if we can get any elite and we got number two offline, I'm happy with that. I'm 100% happy with that. Hopefully, eventually we'll get to the top 100 online, but for now, number two in the world offline is cool. Elite online will be amazing, and everything will be copacetic. We get 87,000 coins, two rare player packs, and, and one ultimate team pack. If we would've got one, like 600 points more first in the world, we would've got two ultimate team packs, or two ultimate packs, two rare player packs, and 100,000 coins, but that fifth, that eight, yo, we were complete, legit broke. What up, Castro? We were completely broke. Now we got 97,000 coins. Bros, I need the rewards because I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't have enough for fitness cards, and I gotta use fitness cards in between every game on the weekend league um so we got five new packs to open up we got our packs from pre-ordering the game as always those right there the jumbos we got the ultimate pack which is pretty big and then the two rares so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the reward uh, the um the orders these are about pre-orders first for pre-ordering the ronaldo edition we got some packs here so we're gonna open these bad boys up no flare on that one so it's not gonna be no borders it's actually a terrible pack out of this when we get bradley from the u.s um again smash a big old thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you want to watch the progress of my squad battle game sometimes i post some of them here but realistically oh yes we got a fitness card we'll take that realistically i post uh, most of them on my vlog channel link down below my vlog career mode squad battle channel go down there subscribe if you want to man we'll open up the last of the pre-orders and then we'll jump directly into the um our, our big packs, man, for, for actually getting oh no boards again. Okay. Uh give us the Gabriel Hasu so we can make some big boy money. That'd be sick. Okay, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> um, that's Moya, right? Yeah, it's big boy Moya. So as I was saying, bros, um these rewards could help us massively because right now we have uh, 91,000 coins, which is pretty cool um, because I was actually thinking, because you guys know I picked up David Alaba, Boateng, I was actually thinking about selling Neuer, uh, excuse me, selling De Gea to pick up Neuer. I really want to try Neuer in this game. So I was thinking about not changing my team dramatically. We've done enough changing uh, this weekend league. I don't want to change my team dramatically. I just thought about changing my goalkeeper. Um, so that's a possibility. But we'll see what we get out of these packs. Hopefully, we get some stuff that makes us some coins. We did get number two in the world. When we got number five in the world, we didn't really get good packs, man. So we're hoping for something big. This is a, you know, little team of the week card here. That one's absolutely terrible, isn't it? Yeah, absolute terrible card here. We don't care for that. 81 in form. Okay, our pre-order packs were terrible. Now let's hope and pray that us getting second in the world actually meant something. So we're going to open up the two. Uh, rare player packs first and then the ultimate pack all right let's do this man um and then i'll probably show you guys how i got two in the world with the last two sets because i kind of choked the last set but anyways here we go man i'm excited let's do this man number two in the world rewards boy nation let's get this baby come on boys let's go man oh god we're gonna get a we're gonna get we getting one off the bat is that oh no i thought we were getting one off the bat bros okay we did get borders i thought we were like i saw the halloween so I instantly, does that not mean when you, it is, are they all orange now? I guess they're all orange right now. I thought we were actually going to get one right there. That kind of sucks. I guess all the walk, the boards right now are orange. Oh, I guess they're all orange. All right, the boy Snyderlin's in there. Um, give me a duplicate, big boy. Ah, I was hoping for a, like a duplicate that we had already. All right, so nothing too great there. Obviously, Snyderlin's a pretty chill card. We did get borders, which was nice. I'm recording, right? Everything's copacetic. Yeah, we good. Um... Man, when I saw the orange, I instantly thought that we got a zombie, you know what I mean? One of the, the Halloween cards, man. But no, I thought we did, though, because I guess all the boards are now orange. So, anyways, here we go, baby. Uh, pack number two. Are we going to get boards? Okay, we get boards. That's pretty cool. We get boards. Something big for us, man. Come on. Come on, man. Spanish. Iniesta? Wait, who's that? Isco? Wait a minute now. We get a walkout Isco? And that's not even the ultimate pack? I'm not mad at that. 
and there could be some big boy cards in there because Gabriel Jesus is only 82. And what's Anthony Martial, like 82, 83, something like that? Something around there, 84 maybe. We could have some big stuff in this pack. Walk out Isco, man, what's Isco selling for, bros? We gotta check, I know the market's been crashing all over the place. Let's check it out real quick. Big boy Isco is going, I'm on the Xbox, remember that? I'm not on PlayStation, I'm on the Xbox. Big boy Isco is going for 37,000 coins. We'll take 30, come on, give us something big in there, bro. Give us something, give us something, boy, something else. One more thing, one more little thing for us, bros. Good asthma. All right, could be a duplicate. Hold on. First of all, I'm going to list this Isco. First, we're going to list this Isco. All right, we're going to start him at, they say he's going for 37. I'm going to list him at 31. Let him start there. Kurazma, Silamani. There could be a duplicate at the end. Okay, there's not. Damn, I was so excited, but there's not. All right, bro. So, hey, 37,000 coins out of that pack. I cannot be mad. We got one more pack. It's the ultimate pack. It's the most unique top rated players. All single pack, including 11 items, all players, and all rare. So 30 all rare players, bros. Come on, man. Give us borders at least. At least give us some borders right here. At least give us some borders right here. We get borders. All right, this is a good start. We're at borders. It's an informed border. That's pretty big. Who is it? French? Goalkeeper? Yeah. Okay. 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 No. No. Isn't De Gea in the packs right now? You're going to give me a goalkeeper? You could have given me De Gea. Now, is that the highest rated card? Or could there be a higher rated card? Because that's an inform. Please tell me there could be a higher rated card in that bad boy. Please, no. Okay, wow. Bravo and an inform. I see Batman at the end. What's this inform going for, bros? That was not good. Um... Okay, this one was not too good, man. Uh, let's see. We get Bravo. I don't think Bravo is going for anything special, right? Bravo is going for, jeez, Louise, nothing. Jovatic, Sanchez is in there. He might be going for something. Please tell me there's a duplicate Anthony Martial at the end of this pack. Who? please tell me there's a duplicate Anthony Martial at the end of this pack. Please, 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 please. There's nothing. Ah, there's nothing, bros. That's not that good, man. Number two in the world, bros. And I got to say, man, that was not that great. Isco was obviously a great pool. Batman's a pretty chill, chill pool. But when it comes to making coins, we didn't really make that much, unfortunately. Oh, goodness. I think my game just broke. Whew, I thought my game just broke. Um, we didn't even pull a Halloween card, which is kind of uh, impressive. I thought we would at least get a Halloween card. We did not get a Halloween card. We got a lot of stuff to sell, though, obviously. It goes up for sale. Uh, Bravo and stuff. I'm going to list all these cards. I think I might just... I could keep them for SBCs, but I think right now I might... Mm, should I keep, I might keep them for SPCs. Okay, instead of giving you some more squad battle gameplay, forget that. You guys know how I did number two in the world. Check the vlog channel. Check the, the video that went up yesterday. You can see how I play against the CPU. Let's get back into the weekend league, man. This right here is footage. We are 14 and three. Now, when I say that's not a great start, please don't think that I mean that if you don't go 20 and 20 and one and 20 wins, one loss, that you're not a good player. That's not what I mean, bros. Uh, I wanted to start a little bit better than 14 and three. I was really hoping you guys know that I like to get the 20 and 2. It didn't work out for us, bros. It just didn't happen out. It didn't happen the way we wanted it. But now, the way I'm starting to look at things is last year I wanted the 10 and 1, then 20 and 2. And last year was great. That was a good way to look at it because last year we were used to getting top 100. Right now, we're trying to find a way to get into top 100. So for now, I'm looking at it like this. We need elite. And to get elite, you pretty much got to go 7 wins, 3 losses. And then somewhere in there, you got to throw an 8 and 2 in the mix. And if you could do that, you're in the elite bracket. And that's what we're after right now we're after getting into the elite bracket and since we're looking at it that way then we're on track we're on track 14 and 3 is a great way to look at it man we're in good place and just take it one game at a time i was talking to david Marl, if you guys know who that is professional footballer who plays fifa and he does really good in the weekend league and i was also talking to penfest is doing really good in the weekend league and i keep telling them yo take it one game at a time because that's how it is bros like i know when you look at the big picture like right now i got eight games left y'all are about to see that if i can somehow bang out the last eight games oh man something big could come this weekend league but yo i'm just thinking about about one game at a time because realistically yeah I, I can go 8 and 0 but am I gonna go 8 and 0 I don't know I'm not trying to put that in my head I want to go just 1 and 0 then 1 and 0 then 1 and 0 and then we'll get this slowly but surely but when I start thinking of the bigger picture I mean when you think of the big picture imagine this imagine looking at your weekend league and when it first starts and it says 40 games remaining imagine you going all right I'm going 40 and 0 and you're just staring at, like, thinking about the 40th game when you all haven't even played game one. Like, no one does that. So you just got to look at it one game at a time and have fun with it throughout the way. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to have fun with it throughout the way and make sure that I get back to where we were last year. And I don't know how long it's going to take us to do that. Maybe a lot of Division One runs. Maybe a lot of draft playing. Maybe a lot of career mode. I don't know what it's going to take. But 
I'm gonna try to get there. Now, we changed the team up a bit. As you guys know, in the last episode, I bought David Alaba. I bought uh, the boy Boateng. We bought v uh, um, Vidal. And it's crazy, right? Because I want to tell y'all what's gonna happen going into these last eight games as Cristiano Ronaldo finds the back of the net. Going into the last eight games, um... I don't know what to do because I like Mbappe and I like Griezmann. I have both of them. But I could also just change it up and go back to Gabriel Jesus and Sonaldo because I still have both of them. And I think to myself, like, what, what am I getting with um, Griezmann that Gabriel Jesus doesn't give me? What am I getting with Mbappe that Gabriel Jesus doesn't give me? Um, and then Sonaldo compared to um, Alessandrini. Now, Alessandrini, I think, might be better than Sonaldo in this game this year, but Sonaldo does have a weak foot. So it's crazy, right? Because if I go with Gabriel Jesus, I'm winning, but then the only place that's a little bit weaker might be the right forward position. So I'm kind of in a place where I'm like, yo, for these last eight games, do I bring Gabriel Jesus and Sonaldo back in because of how good Gabriel Jesus is? I mean, you guys are going to see in this gameplay that every time I'm behind and I need someone to help me, Gabriel Jesus jumps in and does magic. Now, this game was very annoying. Now, at this point, we're like 17 and 3 or, yeah, we're 17 and 3 or 18 and 3, something like that. And we jump into this game right here, bros, and this game was very annoying because we came out guns blazing. We were beasting. We were feasting. We were cruising. Uh, we were beasting. We were just doing everything right, all right? He gets a cheesy goal. What is De Gea doing, bros? I didn't tell De Gea to come out. And I know I could have closed him down better to defend him better, but realistically, at the end of the day, what's De Gea? Yo, that's a keeper. The second best keeper in the game, if not the best keeper in the game, doesn't jump at the ball very annoying to give up that goal um then he comes and bangs a, a long shot from outside the box against Griezmann to tie it up in the 81st minute I work my butt again to get another goal in the 87th minute I run through everybody with Vidal now I want you to watch this bros 88th minute I score you think the game's over off of kickoff watch this watch David Oliver look at the gap that David Oliver leaves so I try to take him out with Anthony Martial I miss it so then I turn to Boateng I'm like I'm taking him out I'm taking his legs I slide Boateng doesn't slide slide correctly um and he scores off a kickoff and a lot of people keep saying yo is kickoffs like really that big of a problem they're a massive problem i was leading this game one nil two nil three nil something like or maybe maybe i was behind first but i go up three two i mean you know what i'm saying i was always ahead i go up three two and in seconds of me scoring he ties the game goes to extra time and he, and he wins and and did he deserve to beat me? In extra time, he annihilated me. Obviously, he walked out of the 6-3. But in 90 minutes, did he deserve to beat me? I don't know. I scored a goal, and he literally gave the ball to Lacassetti and ran in a straight line. Da David Alaba ran the opposite way of where he should have been closing down. Anthony Martial couldn't knock him off the ball. He wasn't strong enough. And then I slid with Boateng to take his legs, and I missed. And a lot of people are like, why did you slide their skills? Because I felt that Boateng couldn't keep up with Lacassetti, so I tried to take him out to avoid that goal. And it didn't work out so i really hope that's something that ea looks at man because that is a goal that i know every single one of you is either affected by or using it or whatever whatever it is it, it's 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 affected you in some way it, most of the times negative ways um and i know you guys can agree with me let me know in the comments down below if it's true or not but um that really put a little sting in me man because i was like damn yo we're about to be like 20 and 4 that's kind of a really bad start for us like i was really hoping to get back into elite one but luckily bros I was able to go on this incredible run, and I'm not going to sit here and blame Boateng and Vidal because they have been great, and they are a big reason about the run that you are about to witness, bros. We go on a run that is the type of runs that we would go on last year, right? So we get to like 17 and three. Now I think we got to 18 and three, or maybe we went 18 and four. I'm pretty. We might be 18 and four. It's going to pop up on the screen right now for us to be able to check it out. But I believe we might be like 18 and four at this point. Let's see real quick. Is it going to pop up? Ooh, it let pop for a second. I didn't show it. We'll see it in a minute. But uh, we get matched up against this team. And you're probably like, well, damn, skills, you done lost this one. That's the same thing I thought when I saw this team. I said, well, damn, skills, you done lost this one. Uh, but we actually were able to put in a hell of a great performance, man. He scores a beautiful goal uh, on the shot that I couldn't defend. He did dead fist me, man. So uh, my boy Alessandrini takes off down the wing. I sent a beautiful pass to Anthony Martial. Martial is going to bang one to the back post, and De Gea makes a massive mistake. My De Gea made a mistake, and now his De Gea made a massive mistake. Starting to make me have a little bit of questions about De Gea, and that's why I'm saying I really want to try Neuer. 48th minute, my homie scores. 51st minute, I'm right back at it. I'm scoring right back back um to make it 2-2 then i come right down the 60th minute good ball back post alessandrini to make it 3-2 against an outstanding team and then we're gonna make it 4-2 gabriel jesus bangs it over to alessandrini he scores i think i even dead fished him at some point i got him back man yeah right there see i dead fished him back i usually don't do that but i dead fished him back and that's gonna be win number 21 so we're 21 and four and when i tell you that we went on an incredible run i mean we went on a freaking incredible run bros 21 and four which means we were actually 18 and four 
um, or something like that, 19-4. and four. Now we're 21-4, and four and we just start kind of going ahead. Boy, Griezmann, a great pass into Anthony Martial, and that's what I mean. Don't think about your results. Just think about the next game, bros, because if you start letting the results get to you, you're going to have a really long weekend, bros. You just got to play it with each game one at a time. Um, this homie I was playing right here was a pretty damn good player. I actually get a red card in this game as well. The boy Griezmann sends the ball. Everybody I played was pretty damn solid. I'm not going to lie to you guys, bros. There was a lot of hard games. Um... Saturday night. This footage is all from Saturday night. Beautiful finish right here for him to make it 3-2. I had a red card, but I was able to scrape that win out, and we go to 22-4 and four and win a good spot. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fast forward a little bit to 24-4 and uh, four because I don't want to keep you guys here. This is already the ward video plus this. I don't want it to be a hell of a long video. So, I fast forward to pretty much the next big team we see, and that has Cristiano, big boy, Ronaldo. I did pick up a few big wins. Um... But a lot of the wins I had to scrape out, and I'm showing you the big scrape out games, man. Big boy Ronaldo right here finds the back of the net, and that's going to send us to penalties in the 82nd minute. So we step into penalties, and you guys know we've already lost one on penalties this weekend. I knew I needed this one, man. Big boy Gabriel Hasu scores. Bakioko steps up. He finds the back of the net. We just kept going at each other. He kept going the right way, but somehow I kept scoring him. He kept missing him, um, and we just kept going and going and going. We're 4-3 at this point. Now it's 4-4. It's 5-4 to me. Uh, it's about to be 5-5 to him no big boy Blanc misses De Gea with a monster save and I guess De Gea kind of redeemed himself for that damn mistake he made when he came out and didn't jump at the ball so a big victory right there and we are getting very close to elite three with still only four losses so to go from 17 and three to where we're at right now is pretty damn solid in my opinion big boy Anthony Martial finds the back of the net in this game very early on three minutes into the game 13 minutes of the game some good passing my man Griezmann finds the back of the net to make it two nil as you can see Griezmann's getting the start over Mbappe right now. I just don't know which way to go with my strikers. Alan Sandrini holding the ball up very nice. I see Griezmann. I see another good pass to Anthony Martial off the post. I don't know how that goes in, but it does. And we get a rage quit just 21 minutes into the game to advance us to, I believe, at that point, uh, at that point, I believe we were like 27 and four. I think we're 27 and four, or maybe this is going to be 27 and four right here. We get matched up against a team with Griezmann, uh, Nigel, and a fantastic team. And Griezmann takes off down the wing though, and Griezmann trying to find something finds Anthony Martial. A very lucky pass. I don't know how that got through in the 40th minute, but it did, and we'll take it, baby. Back of the net is where it's at, and we're up one nil just 40 minutes, and we're 40 minutes is pretty deep into the game. But uh, we're not done there because my opponent comes down. Nice passing, beautiful pass. Him, bros i'm telling you i saw some great opponents on saturday night and somehow was able to scrape some wins out big boy conte back pa back pass into the middle to martial gabriel Jesus in the 75th and i kind of want you to think about this boy nation 78th minute the boy could look at that look at the goal from quadrado yo he's just weaving on me i couldn't do nothing he scores 78th minute and we come down pretty much off the click kickoff so look at this i'm gonna get a goal pretty much off the kickoff he had just scored i get a goal right back it's cheese it worked in my favor that time but it's absolutely cheese and i want to talk about that for one second because realistically there um you know we would have tied the game, gone to extra time, because I probably shouldn't have got that third goal to win it. So we would have went to extra time. And the guy I lost to, the only guy I lost to on Saturday, beat, took it to extra time because of a kickoff. So it's that, it's that... It's that like clinical, right? I mean, it's that like like whatever. It's it's that important, and, and that's why EA needs to sort that goal out because that one game, if I win that, um, because we wouldn't have gone to extra time, I would have won the game. Had he not ran all the way through, I'd probably win that game unless I make a mistake. We win that. We're in a better spot. And then this game here, well, yeah, we would have went to extra time. We would have seen what would have happened. But at the same time, it's like the only loss we took comes off of that kickoff. And I know people will be like, well, skills, you took a kickoff. You should have played better next time. You're, you're right. But when you're playing an absolute mega team in extra time. Uh, you know, he has freaking recost and stuff. It's a little bit difficult, man. So uh, we had a chance to beat that guy. We didn't do it. We're 28 and four, one game away from Elite Three. If we win all eight, top 100, it's not gonna happen. If we could win six out of eight, Elite One, that's not that bad. That'd be Elite One, right? Yeah, Elite One, if we could do that. Um, 35 is our best finish ever. Uh, that happened week one of the Road to Glory, and we're on track for that. So hopefully we can match uh, Elite One and, uh, and and get back to to our best ever finish on the Road to Glory. Yo, it's been your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Thank you so much for watching. Number two in the world rewards i hope you guys enjoyed this episode that's you all caught up on my weekend league i'm gonna finish it's sunday night for me right now i'm gonna finish my weekend league Ho hopefully i do well and tomorrow i'll have some weekend league out for you guys so man i love you guys thank you so much for watching big old thumbs up now i know it's confusing because the rewards come out monday morning for me 
And I know it's still Sunday. I'm going to record the rest of this thing and I'll have the rest of the footage out to you guys as soon as possible. So sorry, it's a little bit confused. Anyway, spend your boy skills. Love your face. 28 and 4. Let's get it. Big thumbs up. Show me that positivity. Let's go, boys. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A9 Skills, and welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition. Boy, the nation was popping, baby. Yo, guys, I got to bring this to y'all, man. I have to, man. Now, this video is actually supposed to go on my second channel because you guys know I put all my squad battle stuff over there, but this is insane, man. This is nuts. This is crazy. This is just something I really wanted to share with the Booyah Nation, bros. Real quick, to just smash the thumbs up. If you're enjoying the Road of Glory, this is what our Road of Glory team looks like. It got Griezmann, got Dembele, it got the boy Anthony Martial. You know Dembele got replaced with the big boy Alessandrini, but during this time, we didn't have Alessandrini. We were rocking out with Dembele. Now, Booyah Nation, the reason I'm even bringing you these highlights is because right now in squad battles, it's insane. I am battling it out with a homie that messaged me on Twitter, okay? So he knows the channel, he knows the content, he messaged me on Twitter. I'm battling it out with him for first place in squad battles. This is massive because if we can get first place, okay? And I, right, right now, as it stands, I'm in first place. But earlier today, before I played this next set, the set that you're gonna see at the end of this video,